This is the Commodity Scrap Metal Recycling and Economic Report, December 4, 2023. U.S. weekly raw steel production fell slightly to 1.687 million tons on continued slow U.S. manufacturing. The U.S. dollar versus other global currencies. When the U.S. dollar falls, commodities priced in dollars typically rises. It fell to 103.5 as lower inflation brings lower interest rates, so a lower U.S. dollar. But, the Federal Reserve Chair said on Friday, inflation is still too high, so they could raise interest rates further. WTI crude oil price settled at 74.07 a barrel, despite Brazil agreed to join OPEC+. Also, the lower price came despite new production cuts by OPEC+, while the U.S. continues high oil exports. The U.S. now exports more oil than any other country in the world other than Saudi Arabia. The U.S. weekly oil rig count was steady at 500. This was on continued great productivity per well and disciplined, very slow increases. U.S. weekly oil production was steady at 13.2 million barrels per day, remaining at the record and is higher than even Saudi Arabia. Some forecast production to rise to about 14 million barrels per day in 2024. That's great for U.S. jobs and the balance of trade as U.S. oil exports remain very high. Scrap deal number one HMS price was steady at $340 a gross ton. It could rise $20 a gross ton or more this week on good exports due to the lower U.S. dollar we talked about. Hot rock coil steel price rose to $5,120 per hundred weight, which is $1,024 a ton on higher iron ore price and higher scrap metal prices. Copper price rose to $392 a pound on the lower U.S. dollar, supply concerns, and the rebound in Chinese demand. Aluminum price fell slightly to a dollar, which is $22.07 a metric ton. This was despite the lower dollar and demand concerns hurt price. China's Caxon General Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rose to 50.7, the highest since August. This was as new orders rose fast, sentiment improved, and inflation eased. U.S. October sales of new single-family houses fell to 697,000 annualized, the level of the 1960s, as higher mortgage rates slowed sales, which lowered prices. U.S. November ISM Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index was unchanged at 46.7, the 14 month of under 50. Remember, under 50 is contraction. New orders remain soft, inventories continue to shrink, and prices fell. U.S. October Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, PCE, the Federal Reserve's preferred measure of inflation, it fell to 3% from 3.4%, the lowest since March 2021. Core PCE, which excludes food and the volatile energy, fell to 3.5%. U.S. Q3 GDP economic growth. The economy grew at 5.2% over last year, one of the strongest growth quarters in decades. Consumer and government spending, as well as residential investments, were up. But... Some forecast it's slowing to about 1.2% plus in Q4, the current quarter. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average surged 856 points for the week to 36.246, about 2% off the all-time record. Retail sales were strong, while manufacturing was slowing, as we just discussed. This report is brought to you by Ben Lee, Roll-Off Trailers, Gondola Trails, Lugger Trucks, and Roll-Off Trailer Parts. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope I'll have a safe and profitable week.